Hey guys, I uh, just want to show you some of the knives um, that I've found, uh, stuff that I've collected over the years. Uh, most of them have been used, really, you know, beaten to heck, <laughs> just from uh, wearing uh, at all t all the time. Um, the only one that probably isn't beat to heck is this one. I used to carry it a little bit, but um, you know, it being such a long blade and it wasn't a pocket knife, it uh. I can't even get it open. I used to be able to get it open with just a thumb flick. There we go. And, uh, it's a pretty nice blade. But um, I quit carrying it because it, you know, I don't even think it's legal to carry. Um, I used to take it camping and stuff too. Um, I carried this one. This is probably one of my first real, you know, real knives. Um, really cheap knife, but it held a pretty good blade. Let's see if I can do this with my other hand. And uh, you can tell it's got some really good wear on it. Um, the blade's been used a good bit. I used to throw this one <laughs> uh, as a teenager growing up. And um, this was a really cheap one that I bought. I wore it a while. You can tell the uh, clip's not even on it anymore. Um, it doesn't even have a sharp sharp edge anymore. I need to do some sharpening on it. But it's a really cheap plastic uh, handle. Uh, I don't think it would be actually put up to any doing any real whittling with. Um, this one I wore a lot. Uh, really good metal. Um, I wore it so much I wore most of the paint off. It used to be that solid blue uh, color all over the entire handle. Uh, I wore the paint off. Um, it's got a really sharp blade on it. I've uh, got the serrated the bottle opener. <laughs> but uh, it was a pretty decent knife. And then um, what else do I have? My buck. I had a little buck. These are cheap, but really, really good blade. Probably the sharpest blade on out of the bunch here. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand. Probably not. So that one's got the really nice sharp blade on it. This is probably the one I'll be using until I can uh, uh, get out there to buy uh, carving knives. But uh, this this one makes a pretty good whittling knife, and it sharpens up really nice. Uh, razor edge being a buck and everything. And uh, I stuck a key ring on the end and it actually, I keep it on my keychain so it's with me all the time. And then I got my Leatherman which, you know, everybody needs a, needs a Leatherman. Of course, making a really bad video here, but and it's got several blades in it. That's got a really sharp blade on it as well, and I like the fact that it's got a uh, saw in it as well. And then um, I've got my two uh, files, which um, I don't think you're really supposed to use a file to sharpen blades, but I used to use the file, and then I used to use the whetstone, which you know, it's got two different sides. I used to oil this down, probably should soak it. Um, a buddy of mine built the box for me as a gift um, when I quit the job. There's an old man used to love uh, his wood shop. He would build all kinds of things. And uh, he used to make that, made that for me when I was into collecting knives. But that's what I've got at the moment. And uh, I'm going to try to make use of some of these uh, for the wood, uh, wood carving projects coming up. So look forward to those. See you next time.